Hi, beautiful ladies. How's it going? Sherry here from No Flex Giving Crew. So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for August the 7th until the 14th. So um, I just wanted to mention um, that if you've sent an email um, out to you, I, sh I should be getting to it shortly. Um, I've turned my attention to my cards uh, for now. So I've put some finishing touches on them. So I'm, I'm done that now. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart. And so I'm going to be doing a split partnership reading here. So I'm going to pull the cards first and then I will go through them. I just want to get the deck out of the way. So how you view this connection, um, message from your higher self. Or sorry, what are you resisting? Message from higher self. Uh, past position, present and future. Message from the universe. Your external environment. What do you fear? And the bottom of the deck. So I'm also using my cards for clarifiers. Let me just turn that music down a little bit. Didn't realize it was so loud. Sorry. So I apologize if my voice cracks a bit. Um, I had issues talking through the Twin Flame connection and the Divine Masculine. And interesting enough, the throat chakra played a very important role in the reading. It showed up twice in the Masculine as a synchronicity, synchronicity very powerful one. Um, and it jumped out of the deck at the beginning of the Twin Flame reading. So um, anyway. I just wanted to mention that. Okay, so starting with how you view this connection. Oh, wow. Four of Wands. Joy and stability. So this is the 1111 um, <clears throat> Twin Flame card. So it's confirmation that it is a Twin Flame connection and that you recognize it. Uh, the Masculine got the Twin Flame calling card as a future outcome position in the Twin Flame reading. So there's this deep awareness of this connection. So you see him as this beautiful star, this light. You recognize who he is. You see all of his beauty. Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So immediately I see the masculine in all these cards here. Uh, so the Four of Pentacles uh, is somebody being closed off. Now the masculine, I believe, got this in his present position. It's a sense that he's closing off. He's not letting external forces influence any of his decisions. He's made a choice. He's transforming his reality. Uh, so he's going to be going through a major transformation in the future. The Three of Swords you got this as an outcome and the masculine got this oh, I can't remember um, oh yeah it was a message from the universe so he there's a sense that you both need to overcome this past pain um, that you feel like your heart is broken when you when you think about the masculine and like that the three of swords is your present moment and how you view this connection you see it as a twin flame connection but the masculine is closed off from you in the past and now you're guarded you're both guarded so heal your heart okay but also the masculine um you know be gentle because he's also had his heart broken anyway in the future position uh, the Five of Pentacles, the Masculine got this as a future position as well. So this, there's a, a disconnect required. There's a financial loss um, or a feeling of being left out in the cold. Um, so what I'm feeling is that there is something that needs to be released for both of you. That you are both feeling this transformative energy flowing through you and you know it's kind of blocking this connection you know, there's so much noise and fear being stirred up you know around this connection 
you know, the feminine seem to be thinking too much about what happened in the past and how hurt she's been from this, you know, closing off. And it's almost like she wants to disconnect herself from it in the future. So it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, which you wish for, you won't get. Um, or it just could mean that she disconnects from that material need. Uh, so what are you resisting? Wow, the, uh, the masculine, masculine got the same card in his reading. So you are resisting the hermit solitude. Um, so yeah, you definitely see that there. You need to seek peace. Uh, go within, find, you know, seek wisdom and knowledge within yourself and disconnect from the material world. <coughs> sorry, the high priestess, or sorry, high priest, there's that devil and the divine masculine in the future. That is so beautiful. You are surrounded by the divine masculine, even though there's this devil staring you straight in the face. There's this love and, um, you know, a sense of safety and being protected. Um, so you're being asked to withdraw from this devil. Seek solitude. Seek peace. So the devil is... Um, a chain, a codependent relationship, an addiction, or just self-limiting beliefs, not believing in yourself. So it is negative energy staring at you. The past position is the high priest, and so the masculine got this in his past position as well. So there's this spiritual connection that you have with the divine masculine, and he comes in when you need it the most, saying, I'm not with you in the 3D, but I'm with you in the 5D. So there's this understanding of being on this spiritual journey, and and it's being presented to you. It's saying you've got you've all you've got all this wisdom, this knowledge, this spiritual enlightenment, but you're not using it. You're not connecting with it in order to move you forward and disconnect with that devil. The future position is the divine masculine. This is what you're making room for. Okay, so this is coming towards you, your true love. Um, and this is a three D card. So something needs to be released in the 3D to manifest the man, ma masculine in the 3D. And the masculine got these two cards in his past position. There's an interesting synchronicity going on here. Um, you know, so he had this in his past past and this in his uh, future past. So there's this acknowledgement of, you know, this power about how the twin flame influences your life you know you shouldn't fear the disconnect you shouldn't fear releasing something in the 3d could because it brings you freedom and it, it brings you this true love so message from your higher self nine of swords darkest fears you're being asked to face your darkest fears so this is and the ego ultimately All right so death of the ego death of your the fears the nine is anxiety stress worry guilt fear and the inability to sleep nightmares night terrors so your higher self is asking you to release yourself from that mental state ultimately from the devil the hermit King of Swords, that feels a little bit thick to me, yes it is. So, the Nine of Cups and then the King of Swords. So, the past position, the Hermit, so it's the same card. So, um, you know, the Masculine got this in the past position as well. There's a retreat to find solitude, find yourself, and then come back is what I felt from that. So, you know, there's a sense that you both require this retreat. You know, this journey is one that is done alone. You both go on your own individual journeys. You go through the fire 
and then you come out, you know, victorious, standing in your own light. And that's what attracts the masculine, your counterpart to you. So you got too much mental noise happening right now. So you're being asked to go back into that hermit state. Now your present moment is a nine of cups, but I'm really feeling because that showed itself next that this is supposed to be the, the uh, present moment and this the future. But let's do it this way. Okay, so the nine of cups is wish granted. Your wishes are being fulfilled. So focus on love. You got two nines here. So there's a, a cycle that's coming to a completion. You are being asked to recognize all of the love in your life, the abundance that's coming in, and focus on the happy things. Um, the King of Swords future position, so um, the masculine got this card in what he fears, so there's a sense that he needs to make a decision. I think it was in his past position, so he did make that decision. Uh, so this could represent an air sign, but it's communication is what I'm feeling strongly from, from this. It's like you, there was a disconnect, you're being asked to focus on love instead of in the mind, and that whatever it is that you desire, that communication or the mental clarity will come to you in the future. Um, so again, this is someone who, who takes action, who is a leader, and him needing to take the lead was a very powerful message in his reading. Okay, so your past, or yeah, your past position, wow, Volcar, trust, what I really love is how you've surrendered in the past. Um, you know, you can see that there was this, a lot of wisdom gained, but you're going through a period of falling back into the material world, the material reality, rather than spirituality. Um, so... You know, this is you surrendering, letting go, um, taking a leap of faith, and it represents a brand new beginning, returning to a childlike state of pure innocence. So there was that surrender in the past. Page of Swords. Base Chakra. And Sacral Chakra, very interesting. Um, when I shuffle the cards, I always put the cards in separate spots um, and then shuffle them and these two cards showed up in message from the higher self with the masculine reading however it was in this position so very cool synchronicity going on here so these are lower chakras they're you know it's like you know, allowing your emotions to control you, not feeling safe is what I felt here in the past. Now, the Page of Swords uh, is the double communicator. So open, honest communication occurred in the past, or somebody spoke their truth or made a decision or you had an idea. But this is a new beginning. It's, it's thoughts forming, discussions, um, inventions. So... The present moment is the base chakra. So there was a sense that you didn't feel safe or secure in your, like these ideas, you're questioning um, maybe communication or some ideas or decisions that you made in the past. So there's a sense that you said fuck it and you kind of like surrendered to it. Future position, position is the, the sacral chakra. So the masculine got that in his past. So there's this something occurred in both of your past that opened the emotional chakra. It's like you could feel again. This connection opened up your emotions. Um, and it's like you had been feeling, you had been li leading or living a life that was numb. Um, and there's a sense of that recognition. It's like, you know, when we connect, I feel safe and I, f I feel like I can feel that song, Glycerine by Bush, keeps coming to mind. So it's like this 
you know, now I can feel energy. So it, it opened you up and you surrendered. Even though it is a lower form of energy, there's this knowing that comes with it. So your present moment, wow, spread your wings, very cool synchronicity. Um, so the masculine got this card and is an external environment. And what I was really feeling with this card is like you standing there waiting to embrace the masculine, right? It's that surrendered energy. Um, so this card means that you've made a decision in the past to walk on a spiritual path. So it's an expansion of the mind, and this decision is made not in fear. It is made, you know, with your true, authentic life, you know. So there's a sense that you're waiting to embrace the fruits of your labor, or you're waiting to embrace the masculine. But in what I was really feeling was that you're waiting to embrace the masculine. You're waiting for him to walk through that door. The King of Pentacles. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. And the Lover's Card. So the King of Pentacles, past position. This could represent a Earth sign. The Masculine got this in the future position, I think. So it's like, you know, the 3D King, the one that you can hold, feel, caress. So this is in your present moment. So there's a sense that you connected either with an earth sign or you connected with the masculine in the 3D or um, or there's a sense that the masculine has achieved something. It's like this is someone who's gained their independence, their freedom, or they feel grounded, successful. They have a lot of abundance coming in and they share their wealth. Uh, but really what I'm reading into it is independence, a sense of freedom <clears throat> so your present present moment is the ten of pentacles masculine got this in the message from the universe it's like the universe was holding this card up for him showing him the potential the future the manifestation of your desires into the 3d reality and what i really see here is like this is the same character that is older you know somebody who's retired so there's this long-term goal that is being presented to you. It's saying that your dreams are going to be manifestation uh, manifested. The 10 is a completion. So it's this connection, this twin flame connection that is going to be manifested. So there's this return of this passion, this hunger, this desire. Uh, and it will be manifested into your life. So the lover's card, you know, is a longing energy so you brought this in in the past position so you know what it's like a full cycle returns to you and is manifested so the future position the high priest so teach so the high priest is being represented as a feminine energy so now you have this in the past position right so there's a sense that you're both like stepping into this spiritual leadership role um so let's pull up the confirmation cards the ace of wands six of cups and the two of wands interesting so Ace Wands, past position. Um, so this is in your future, right? You got this card in your future position for the Twin Flames. So there's this new beginning coming to you. Uh, and it's a reunion. The Six of Cups was also in the future position. I can't remember. I think the masculine got I can't remember. But anyway, there's a reunion happening. So this is not for all, but for some, someone's coming back from the past. So there's this spark, this ignition, this kundalini awakening that happens. So there's this new beginning, right? Starting from zero, and it's spiritual beginning. And so the Six of Cups reunion, it's um, pure, innocent love, future position, two wands, same card. So it's like, um, it's almost like, you know, the reunion, he walks through that door. That's what I'm feeling. So now how is that connected to the high priest? 
what I'm feeling is, you know, there's been that spark, that, that go time, that go light, and to continue on that path because it's going to lead you towards the masculine. Continue to be in this open state. Okay, so message from the universe. Wow, two of cups coming together. So a spiritual union. The universe is saying that this is your twin flame. Confirmation. The masculine got the heart chakra from the universe. So beautiful mirroring here. Both of you holding that love. Death card. High priestess. And the Queen of Swords. Wow, this card has showed up in every reading. Okay, so past position, death card. You got this in your past position for the Twin Flame. So you went through a transformation already. You've already released something. Whether it's a fear or I don't know. But you've been through a major transformation. You've come into this awareness, this awakening. So... But there's still the devil there rearing its ugly head, right? So it could just be fears, right? Fears that need to be released. So the high priestess is one who uses her intuition, her psychic ability, her inner knowing to guide her. So you, she uses her own wisdom and knowledge. So there's, again, this sense of needing to go within. Um, you're not seeing things clearly. You're allowing fears to overcome you, and it's there's a sense of it closing you off. So be careful of that energy. So listen to your intuition. Open your third eye, and you will see this connection for what it really is. So the Queen of Swords, future position. Now this was in his resisting position, and it showed up... Um, I can't remember, but anyway, so it's coming in your future. So the universe is saying to communicate your truth, or there's going to be communication. Uh, so this could also represent an air sign. So you got this is the second time both of these cards, both of these court cards have shown up. So this is open, honest communication, both in the future position. You know, we got the two of cups here, and it's in matters of the heart. So, yeah, um, what is in your external eight of wands, success and growth. So this connection is really, you know, growing. This card is all about manifestation. So this is also a very com important communication card. My number two, my number one is the throat chakra, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the throat chakra played a very important role um, and my scratchy throat. It wasn't that too bad this time around, but yeah, so it's coming in your external environment. So communication, there's this wind of communication that is being stirred up. This is Cupid's arrows. Um, and this also, you know, it's like, it talks about reaching for the stars and having that manifested into your life. So it's also accelerated motion, so it's a lot of positive energy. You see this connection, but you are allowing fears to control you. <clears throat> there goes my throat. Temperance card. Well, crown chakra and the three of pentacles. Past position. The masculine got this in his past position. So this is the ultimate union card for twin flames. So he's bringing this knowing of this connection to you and it's like you know I'm really seeing that 5D bond very strongly between the two of you um, remember it's in your external environment so this represents his energy he's looking at you as this angel as this person who is very patient in the now um, and you know this is union of the souls as well so the crown chakra present moment so confirmation of this 5D like deep connection between the two of you, this bond um, so the crown chakra is a di direct connection to the, the feminine but also to the collective and to source so this 
you know, beautiful energy is raining down on you. Okay, so it's because of your surrender in the past. Three of Pentacles, future position. So this is um, a firm foundation. Um, so this is building on success, but there's still more work to do. So this is recognition, but it's also manifesting as well. So there's a sense that there's this new grounding in the future, and it's it's and it has to do with illumination. So again, go within and listen. What do you feel? You know, allow that light within to show you the way. Also be that light. Radiate it back to him. Okay, so what do you fear? War of Cups. So this is the third time this card has showed up. So, you know, this is, you know, coming in his future position, the masculine reading. So there, there's, um, I pulled a, a, a clarifier, which was the Knight of Swords uh, from the Osho Zen. And that card depicts a, a person who is closed off, ready to detonate, right? So there's a sense of fighting. Uh, and I was feeling that either you were being closed off to the masculine or that he may, you know, come across a closed off feminine in the future. So it was kind of a warning. But also there was a sense of the masculine opening up, being reborn. Uh, so, you know, shedding that armor. Now, this four of cups is coming in your fear position. And there's a masculine being represented here and he's turned away. So you fear that the masculine will continue to be closed off to you and continue to break your heart. So let's see what else comes along with that. Queen of Pentacles, interesting. Ace of Swords, interesting. And wow, the Two of Cups. So past position, Queen of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles, I believe, showed up twice in the readings. So there's this manifestation of the 3D masculine that is being toyed with. Uh, he's showing up in the past and in the future. Now the Queen of Pentacles is in your past, so this could be, you know, that connection in the 3D. Um, you know, this desire to want to be together in the 3D, and it is manifesting. So this could also represent your independence, your freedom. But I don't feel that because of that devil, that chain that's holding you back. Uh, so this also represents harvest, you know. But what I'm really feeling here is more of a connection to this King of Pentacles um, and manifesting since it's forefront. Um, so you desire this connection to be manifested in the 3D. However, you are concentrating and focusing on this disconnect and stagnation, this non-movement, and it scares you to death. So the Ace of Swords is present moment, so you're waiting for communication or a decision to be made. So this was coming in his future position, in his, in his external, so there's a sense that the feminine needs to communicate her truth to the masculine or vice versa. Uh, this is also a decision needs to be made. You need to release yourself, cut the ties. Now, now it is time to take action. That's the message that came through very clearly on both sides. The masculine is moving forward and the feminine needs to take action on something as well. So the future position is the Two of Cups. So same card. The universe is sending a message loud and clear that this connection is coming towards you. The twin flame connection coming so don't focus on the negative allow those fears to go and turn back into this powerful spiritual being right don't let the 3d reality suck you back in that's what i feel um, a war between spirituality and the 3d reality so what is the overall energy Wow, cool synchronicity. Um, so this 
is a divine masculine who's coming in your future position once you let go of that chain okay and so this card showed up twice in the masculine and in the twin flame, flame reading so there's a sense of leadership taking the lead um, taking action formulating plans and carrying those plans out um, and because it's an overall energy for the feminine it's like the masculine is taking the lead is what I really feel here He's realizing his power and taking a stand. Um, and you want him to. You want him to, to, you know, take over. It's like, you know, it seems to me the feminine has been the one reaching out and keeping this connection alive, you know, by doing her own work, by purging and, and concentrating on love unconditional love you know and it's like she's tired <clears throat> you know she's tired and she wants to put the burden down that's what I really felt in the last reading so I feel her shifting you know wavering um, and you know turning more into a negative state but she's on the precipice of it so it's like fall back ladies you know just surrender let go of control, find that solitude, that peaceful state, and I really feel that the masculine is in this leadership role, is going to be taking the lead. Um, and it's interesting how, you know, you're also going to be teaching, taking the lead. It's like the Divine Feminine and Masculine, both embodying this, this spiritual power as well as this 3D power. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from Call It Bear and Read. So this would be a message from the universe. Go the distance. Or, yeah, essential meaning, endurance, strength, the long haul, and that's what I really felt with this reading. It's like I've been, you know, on this journey for such a long time, and I, I'm tired. Okay, so um, the oracle message: to bring your dream to life, you must think long term, right? The ten of pentacles. Um, and pay no attention to fluctuations in the current of your experience. And that's exactly what I'm feeling is fluctuation. Wow. Joy and disappointment co-mingle with opportunities. So there's no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authentic authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles what is yours will never be withheld from you remember that what is yours will never be withheld from you wow so it it talks about your strength and what you've overcome look back and see how strong you are all the obstacles that you've and you know overcome and endured. So, don't focus on the negative, right? Turn your attention to this connection and to love. And it seems to be like you're manifesting the masculine into your 3D reality. And not this is not for everybody, um, but I mean, if there's a strong indication that there is union, especially with the four of wands very strong card. Alright, so I hope this helped and I welcome your comments. Much love. Peace.